Hey guys, this is Linda. Um, and I wanted to tell you something. If, if one of your family members, or say your great-great-grandmother was buried in a family cemetery and some corporation, some coal corporation moved in next to it, and uh, then they decided, well, we'll just dig up some of the graves and bones and send them off someplace, would you be a little upset? Well, of course you would. I mean, these are your ancestors. And that would be kind of sacred. I mean, um, isn't there something when you when you do something to a grave, isn't that called something? Um, surely it wouldn't be an archaeological find if people were still living around that area who knew those people and they were related. So uh, let me just um, go to an article and show you something. Now, first of all, I need to explain a couple of things. Peabody Cole seized one million Navajo and Hopi artifacts from the Black Mesa. And this is this was April 22nd, 2013. Now, um, first of all, let me tell you about the relocation of these uh, from the Black Mesa. John McCain and Peabody Cole decided they were going to force relocate. There, there was nothing... Um, these people just didn't say, sure, we're going to pick up and move and leave everything behind. It was a forced relocation, and the people peacefully did a peaceful resistance. It did not get violent. They tried everything peacefully because if, if an Indian reservation gets violent, usually ooh, there's a, a little mini war that no one hears about in the news and a lot of dead Indians. So, I mean, they did the best they could. Uh, but they were forcefully relocated to a nuclear waste dump. It's actually called a super tank nuclear uh, waste dumping station in Nevada. Now, since once they were removed, while Bee Potty Coal was raping the Black Mesa's coal and forcing more than 14,000 Navajos into relocation and sorrow, and the reason there's sorrow is because a lot of them have died from being on a nuclear waste dump. Peabody seized one million Navajo and Hopi artifacts from the Black Mesa. These artifacts are, are now at the University of Southern Illinois at Carbondale. Now this is off a reservation. They had no right to do this. Louise Benelli Dene of Big Mountain said they steal the souls of the ancestors that lie in the ground to violate our human rights currently. The taking out of the bones and remains of our ancestors simply points to one thing, the injustice of imperialism that has encroached our homelands now. The only thing we can say is have them rebury the bones from where they took them. To steal the bones of, our, of the ancestors just point to one thing, the violation of our human rights. They killed the land when they mined it. It is the mindset of the co colonials that does not respect the laws of nature. Bones need to be left alone. Everything needs to be left alone and not to be replanted. Peabody Cole doesn't have any respect for anything or anybody, only their greed matters, Benelli told Censor News. And um, Peabody Cole, I will find a link and show you that John McCain was so totally involved, him and his wife, in this. Peabody Cole, by the way, um, they, 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 um, uh, service power to the cheap power to Las Vegas, Nevada for the casinos. I believe McCain's wife wasn't she involved in liquor sales and stuff, so she had a hand in this. Peabody Cole, with the aid of attorneys and politicians, fabricated the so called Navajo Hopi land dispute in order to remove the Navajos from the Black Mesa and the mine, the coal. Now the University at Southern Illinois, the Center of for Archaeology Investigation, says the seizure of Navajo and Hopi artifacts was funded by Peabody Cole. The university even brags about the seizure. We are currently working on a 5.5-year project to inventory and rehouse the Black Mesa Archaeological Project collections. It is one of the largest and lo they, they just stole this, remember this, Longest running projects in the history of North American archaeology. Fieldwork spanned 17 years from 1967 to 1983 and at its peak employed more than 200 persons in a single summer. Nearly 25 archaeological sites were identified. No, 
Grave sites, sacred sites were identified, and more than 200 sites evacuated, excavated, excuse me, on the 250 square kilometer of the Black Mesa leased from the Hopi and Navajo by Peabody Energy. Um, actually, Peabody Energy ran the people off and relocated them, and then leased it out to the archaeological people to make more money. So, they have the collection of stuff, and they're not going to return it. So they pretty much just went and stole their sacred, their people from the land and everything sacred they believe in. And, and I find this appalling. I don't know if you do. And I'm going to leave a link about John McCain, too. Whew. I just, I, I, mm, no disrespect for that man. I even suspect if he, is a, if he was a POW, I, I, I read somewhere he squealed like a baby because he had broke his arms or something. And he came back and did this to people, and he still, what he does to veterans today, he, he, he needs to be in a mental institution. But by getting rid of artifacts, these aren't artifacts, these are these people's, the Navajos and the Hopis, things. They're still alive. This isn't like some archaeological find. This is their land. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm angry. I just keep reading and reading more and more. And when it happens on an Indian reservation, eventually it's going to happen to you, just letting you know. And I love all of you. Peace, love, and truth. Always, Linda.